Hello and welcome to Dressmaking Amore. Today in this video, I'll show you how you can easily and quickly sew this comfortable slip. A slip is so great to wear under a dress as it provides some extra coverage and a little more comfort. The slip is made from a stretchy knit fabric which adds to the softness and the comfortability level and you can even wear this alone as a simple but classy loungewear style dress. For this easy and comfy slip, I'm going to use my new Dolly PDF sewing pattern, which you can get at the link below this video. With this pattern, you can make all different kinds of designs, as I included four different dress lengths in the pattern, so you can fit any dress that you already have. You can also sew the necklines and the straps in different ways, but in this video, I'll show you how you can sew this mini length slip with a slight V neckline. Here are the materials that you'll need. The slip pattern is only suitable for stretch knit fabric because there isn't a closure. You'll soon make this pretty slip in a woven fabric, but for this dolly pattern, I recommend a stretch knit fabric such as a jersey knit, soft ponte knit, french terry, a brushed poly, or an ITY fabric. Now I'll cut out my pattern pieces from my fabric and make sure to transfer all of the marks to make it easier to sew in the process. Okay, let's get to sewing. You can use fold over elastic or make your own binding as we'll do here. Using a bias making tool, minus 12 millimeters, press the binding. Cool the fabric right away so it'll stay in place just as we want it to be and not unfold. Fold the binding in half like so and press. On the front piece, transfer the darts on the other side and pin the darts matching the notches. Sew the darts, start behind your point, right on the crease of the fabric. Make 3-4 to four stitches on the edge and then go straight to your mark on the side. This will prevent a pointy dart. My thread isn't popping when I stretch as it stretches with the fabric, so I'm not worried about sewing stretchy fabric using a straight stitch. If your fabric or thread is not behaving, then use a narrow zigzag when you sew with stretchy fabric. Press the darts. I like to press them down, but this is a personal preference. Choose what works best for your bust shape. Cut the binding a bit longer than the length of your neckline. Place the front neckline inside your binding, holding the binding over and pin. You can go ahead and sew it by hand so the fabric won't move when you sew. Then sew the binding 2mm from the inner edge. Fold the center seam of the back, matching up all the marks. Sew the center back. I sewed it with a 4 thread serger so that it joins and finishes the seam in one step. Press the center back seam. Place the back inside the binding and sew it closed. Here I sewed it right away without pinning or basting. Don't stretch the fabric here, only pull the binding a little bit. And cut off the ends of the binding. Press the back binding. the front binding as well. Cut two pieces of binding that equal the armhole and the straps on your pattern piece. Mark the armhole length on both binding pieces and then place the armhole inside your binding and sew two millimeters from the edge. Sew up to the corner of the neckline as it should match with the pin on the binding. You can make sure of this by pulling the binding a little bit so that it matches. And backstitch when you're at the neckline corner and then continue to sew the strap. Repeat on the other side. And press the armhole and the strap to get rid of any waviness that you might have. Now place the front and back right sides together and pin the side seams. And sew your side seam. 
I like to secure the edges with a straight stitch to have matching side seams at the armhole. And then I'll serge the side seam. Secure the side seam at the armhole with the seam allowances facing the back of the dress. Try on your dress to figure out the length needed for your straps. And mark the placement of your straps at the back using the back pattern piece. Or you can of course make your own placement as well. Now sew the strap in place. Hem the dress with a narrow surgery seam. And give the dress a final press like always. And we are done with our pretty dolly slip. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspires you to sew this dress yourself. I know you'll love it. Make sure to get the PDF downloadable sewing pattern that I used at the link in the description of this video. And happy sewing!